Greetings and salutations. We are here again for part 7 of our decision theory lecture series. In this unit, we are looking at expected monetary value, EMV. We have looked at payoff tables, Maximax, Maximin, Herwix, Laplace, Min Maxigret, and now we are at expected monetary value. The information for this section is normally presented like this. An international economist has estimated that the probability of an unfavorable market is 10%. The probability of an average market is 50%. And the probability of a favorable market is 40%. Which decision should be taken on the risk? So now we're going to be incorporating these probabilities into our payoff table as follows. Right? But we'll, let's show you what we're going to do with the information though. Alright, so here we have our payoff table where we are looking to select a new a country for our new factory. The alternatives are South Korea, Philippines, Mexico, or Jamaica. And the figures in this table represent the cost in million of completing the factory. The steps that we take for this process are Step 1. Calculate the EMV for each outcome. So the EMV, which is expected monetary value, is the sum of the probabilities multiplied by the associated values. So we multiply each probability by the value related to it and then add the results. Step 2. We simply select the alternative with the best EMV for implementation. And of course, the best EMV would be either the highest expected profit or the lowest expected cost. So here we have it. We incorporate the probabilities into the table like this and ideally we use decimals. So for probabilities we have 10% for unfavorable, 50% for average and 40% for favorable as given in the introduction. So to calculate the EMV for South Korea, we are going to take 10% or 0 0.1 multiplied by 19 plus 0 0.5 multiplied by 18.5 plus 0 0.4 multiplied by 17.6. And that will give us 18.19 million which is now the expected cost of doing the factory in South Korea. For Philippines we will have 0 0.1 multiplied by 19.2 the probability 0 0.5 multiplied by 17.1 and 0 0.4 multiplied by 14.9 I add these and we get 16.43 million. Likewise for Mexico, we will have 0 0.1 multiplied by 22.5, 0 0.5 multiplied by 16.8, 0 0.4 multiplied by 13.8. Add these results and we have 16.17 million for Mexico. Jamaica, 0 0.1 times 25 plus 0 0.5 times 21.2 plus 0 0.4 times 12.5. And this gives us an expected cost of 18.1 million for Jamaica. So we are now choosing our location. We are looking at South Korea at an expected cost of 18.19 million, Philippines 
at an expected cost of 16.43 million, Mexico at an expected cost of 16.17 million, or Jamaica at an expected cost of 18.1 million. Of course, the lowest cost there is for Mexico. So our choice on the EMV is Mexico, which has the lowest expected cost of 16.17 million. We will also note the figure, this best cost, this best EMV is noted because it will also be used in the next technique to calculate the expected value of perfect information. So we take note of this figure and keep it for reference. Let's move on to our next payoff table, which here we're looking to choose an option to meet our capacity requirements. The choices are to build a new plant, to subcontract, to do overtime, or simply do nothing. The figures in the table represent profits. So we now need to make a decision. So let's go. We incorporate our probabilities just as before, where we have 10% for unfavorable, 50% for average, and 40% for favorable. So in calculating the expected profit or the EMV for build, building a new plant, we're going to take 0 0.1 multiplied by negative 300,000 plus 0 0.5 multiplied by 240,000 plus 0 0.4 multiplied by 350,000. This gives us an expected profit of $230,000 for building a new plant. For subcontract, we take 0 0.1 multiplied by negative 20,000 plus 0 0.5 multiplied by 90,000 plus 0 0.4 multiplied by 180,000 and this gives us 115,000 as the expected profit for subcontracting. For overtime likewise we have 0 0.1 multiplied by negative 10,000 plus 0 0.5 multiplied by 60,000 plus 0 0.4 multiplied by 110,000 which gives an expected profit of 73000 for overtime. For do nothing, all results give zero, so we don't have to do a calculation to get zero. But we could have said 0 0.1 times zero, plus 0 0.5 multiplied by zero, plus 0 0.4 multiplied by zero. And of course, we would have gotten zero. So now we are making a choice. And our alter alternatives are build new plant at an expected profit of $230,000, subcontract at an expected profit of $115,000, do overtime at an expected profit of $73,000, or do nothing with an expected profit of zero. Of these options, the highest expected profit is $230,000. So our choice would be to build a new plant and we note our highest expected profit of $230,000. We take note of the best EMV because it will be used to calculate the expected value of perfect information in our next part of the lecture series. As usual, practice until perfection is achieved. We know that perfection is lots of little things done well, as stated by Fernand the Point. Walk good. Take care. Please like, subscribe, and stay tuned for part 8 
of the lecture series where we will look at expected value of perfect information.